During our visit to this house, it was discovered that this house is not actually abandoned and is frequented by the owner. Due to this, we are asking people do not attempt to go back to the house as some people have caused damage and things have been stolen. Uh, the house has now been secured and notices have been placed around outside that urbexes are not welcome. with um, YouTube's number one voted very nice people <laughs> right you know voted by the fans as much nicer than me because they always get all the oh they're so nice aren't they so nice all I get is isn't he sexy <laughs> by uh, what's his name Tracy Jackson or something Jackson, yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah see so but they're nice I'm sexy so which would you rather be nice or sexy <laughs> yeah just think about it mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're here at uh, undisclosed location in. <laughs> Keep that isolation up. And this is. I suppose, this is a missionary house or something, is it? Yeah. Um, Tabern is it? Tin Tabernacle. Tabernacle. Because it's made out of tin. Ah, oh, a bit old school, isn't it? Do it then. Yeah, why not? There he is, look. Going for it. No messing about. Oh, hey, oh, it says here it's private. Was in like genitalia private or we don't want you to come in your private there it is wow what's this then an English listed building you kidding this is a listed building can't believe that what tin building is listed no wonder nobody goes in here wow probably hear us if we go in here because we'll be going ting bits of tin it's all tin isn't it right, right so they're calling me round Whoa. calling me they're calling me right let me just see if we can get the old uh, speed down there we go Whoa. and we've got Thorns and crap. Oh, there's somewhere that's open. I wonder how there's this in the roof. Right. So there's some sort of little thing here. So oh, there's a little hole. It is very small, and it is like a bit of a weird, weird door. I reckon there's got to be something else. Something else. Can't be that. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a window open. No way, it must be somebody's house then. 
It looks like somebody's living in there. Yeah, this is what they were taking the photo. <sighs> wow. I couldn't see a door in, could you? No, all the doors are boarded up. All the doors are boarded up? That's nuts. That's how... It could be a really old one, perhaps. Okay. I'm gonna sh watch this space, don't subscribe, secret vault. Okay, that's look a bit shitty. Can you put it right up? Yeah. Cheers. sorts of uh, letters. What's the date? 1999. Oh, I see. That's another room. Right. I'm going to go in the smaller room first. Check out the smaller room. Whoa. It's amazing. This is a interesting little place. God. Yeah. Like the toilet and the bath. Wow, that is like such a small bath. I think mine's like that in the house. It's really small. Oh, spiders. Mm. Spider. It says the heater is now disconnected from the water supply. Yeah. Oh God, toilet looks like it's seen better days. Wonder if um, there's any water going to it. There is. There is water going to it. Wow. Wow. There's lots of pictures and things here, which are paintings and bits and pieces. Well, this is a bit bizarre. Uh, it's like a woman Ooh. with like a bloke. Hang on, what's that then? Let's get the, get the iris down. That woman with a bloke like standing over her, like ghostly. It's a black man. In a silver, silver costume. Strange, strange yeah. Strange. Oh, this, look at the amount of cobwebs on the back of this door, man. Oh, that is nuts. Oh, man. <laughs> That's bonkers. I don't think there could be anybody living in here with like that sort of stuff. Bathroom. With this sort of squalor. I wonder why whoever it was who was here moved out. Yeah, it's artist stuff. What is that? That's a sort of camera, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, it's an old Kodak instant camera. God, I don't think I've ever seen one of those. That must be like pre-1970s or something. Wow. So there's lots of um, pictures and artwork and bits and pieces. I wonder whether they were evicted out of here. I wonder if they were evicted and had to leave. So... Let's go down to the front door. So you can see somebody's old bike here. See an old bike. And then you've got the front door. And there's a window open. Oh, I see. This is probably what they were saying. There was a window open here. Is that a window? Oh, it's smashed halfway up. Yeah. This is halfway up. It's smashed open. Salisbury Hills maps. Wow. City of Bath, Britain in Bloom, Bloom Competition, awarded to the Tin Church. So it actually won awards this place. But here we are, look. Let's have a look up, up at the top. So look, this is the, um, this is like the fake kind of top bit, you know. So that's the, that's the sort of look up, it's directly to the ceiling. So... There's the uh, there's the view, sort of a bit blown out, but yeah, this place has won awards, mate. Really? Yeah, certificate of merit. It doesn't say when. Britain in Bloom competition, yeah, the yeah. Tin Church. Crazy. Ah. 
please leave this light on. There's no light in here. Look, there's a bell here yeah, as well. Yeah, it's an old school bell. Oh, it's loose, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think so? nobody would ever want to go up there, would they? <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit mank. But um, what have you got then? You've got like scaffolding, and somebody has put stuff up on a second level. So there's all sorts of. Uh, That's an old school Hoover. That is an old Hoover. My God. It's like a buffer or something. What's this look? Like? It's like an old tail of something. Yeah. Perhaps they were furries. Yeah. Furry fandom in the house. So this looks like it's part of a pew look, you know? So I think there's steps there for it as well, so that would be the original yeah. pew. So that was actually where they would walk up and give a sermon from. There's the stairs, look. There's the stairs. For it, so they'd walk up there and that's the actual pew. So that's pretty crazy, isn't it? So that's pretty crazy. It's all like jammed underneath the scaffold. Oh, look. In every chair where I'd like to sit, there is a cat curled up and deeply sleep sleeping. That is that. I've not had this heart to shift a sleeping cat. And when at last I can reach my longed-for bed, there is a cat, curled up and deeply sleeping. That is that. I have to curl up myself around the cat. First of the morning, paws are in my eyes. It is a cat. A nose in my ear, and that is that. I must get up to feed the blessed cat. <laughs> Mm. This 2005 page diary, and then there's lots of like little little things here, like you put pictures in or things that you give stuff away. And what are these? These are like little. I don't know what they are. Seems like somebody might have been distributing things. There's lots of them in boxes here. Look, Mr. G. Boys, Mr. G. Boys, rigid boxes. So Mr. G. Boys, did he live here then? And he's no longer living here. It's just rigid boxes, nothing in them. So he's bought loads of those boxes to send stuff out. Wow, this is this is a proper treasure trove. Look at this. Look at all the, the state of this. Yeah, wow. Look at it, it's amazing. All of his, uh, he used to cook on the this little weird stove here. It's more like a camping stove than a, a house stove. And what? Who's that? I recognise that face from somewhere. Is she an actress? Oh yeah. Who's that then? It's not Liz Taylor. No. Hmm. But um, all sorts of stuff like it's a bag, like just sit, sitting on a chair, like as if somebody's just been in you. It's like an old bag covered in dust. There's an old. There's an old painting here, look. Look at that. Look at that, there's an old painting that's been mounted on something. Compressor. Compressor, oh yeah. I've actually got one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna put this painting up here so it looks like he's been cooking with that painting in the background. <laughs> Definitely. Who does, that, who does that lady remind you of, Jess? Who's that? That one reminds me of Kirsty Hawkshaw. Oh yeah. Mm. It's like a... Already, oh yeah, much older looking than Kirsty. Yeah. Mm. There's loads of pictures of Billy Piper over there. No way. Yeah. <laughs> That's, is that somebody's sketched art? God, a whole record collection. Yeah. No way. More Miller. Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller stuff. So here we are, look. There's all sorts of bits. Look, silver, silver cutlery, look. Just in a presentation case. Silver cutlery. I mean, it's a proper hoarder, hoarder house, isn't it? It's a bit like mine, I suppose, in some respects. It's like proper hoarder, hoarder stuff. So look what they had in the cupboards for food. They had um, Ambrosia Devon Custard. Mmm. Yeah. Lyle's Golden Syrup. Um, they had some cereals, look. 
Summerfield 24 wheat biscuits, puree. Oh look, I think I think rats have been in there. Look, we've eaten the corner off it. What's this then? Octavita. Are you going to use the loo? <laughs> yeah, but don't flush it though because of the, the the risk of being arrested. Oh yeah. Well, we won't tell anybody if you do. Oh, it's actually a badge here for somebody. It's a, this badge was issued by Bath North and East Somerset Licensing Services to Mr. Graham Boys. Oh, it's got his face on you. It's actually got his face, look. Whoa. Whoa, where, where is he now? What happened to Mr. Boys then? Why isn't he still here? Why isn't he still here? Or was he never meant to be here? Maybe he was living in here without permission, I don't know. Maybe he was just occupying the premises and who knows? He's got all, all bottles of um, Guinness up there, which is like an amazing stove. Look at that stove. That's something. Wow. Look at that. that one is a sheep, look. A sheep. A bit small for me to ride that, but I'm tempted. You might be able to, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got, ugh, look at that, he's like a metal spider. I don't find that too attractive, to be honest. He's got, what's this, little bells? Little, little bells and spinners. These go round when the fire goes. I think they're meant to sort of turn when the fire, fire goes, but... Obviously, no heat now. Mm. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what happened to this chap? Does anybody know what happened to him? I mean, all the trinkets and things. That's um, ruby wax. That's ruby wax, that is. Mm. So you must have been a ruby wax fan. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder who made these. Like these are sort of custom. That's some, somebody's made that. And there's something that looks like it might be out of a. What do you reckon? Um, yeah, that same people make Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Ardman Animations. Um, flushed away. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's from Flushed Away. This is. I can't remember what these are called. They're not Moomins, are they? Is it a Moomin? No, I don't know. It's an alien, I think. It's an alien from something. It's actually an alien from a movie. I can't remember which movie it is, though. But he's, he likes his, like, uh, childy sort of things, you know? Likes his, um... Oh, God. I'm being reminded of something by my phone, so... I shall have to shut it up. Can you, uh, do us a favour? Two secs. So I can silence the, uh, the monster. Where is it? Wrong way up. Yeah, yeah, what do you want to tell me? Oh, it's, it's apparently movies on in devices, which ain't happening because no cinemas are allowed to be open at the moment, but I remind myself every Monday there's movies on, so, yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. No worries. And in case you haven't tuned in before, that's Sam, and that's Jess, and I'm Matt. And, uh, yeah, check out their channel. Link's in the description below. Uh, they've got their own little Instagram. And... Uh, yeah, it's worth having a look. Check it out. So what's this thing then? E-Bench? E-Bench? What does it do? Alarm setting. Memory. Oh, it's a, it's a radio. Why is it screwed up like that then? That's a radio. A bit weird. And what is this thing? This looks a bit weird. What is that then? Place pasta. It's a pasta container. A bit over engineered for a pasta container. Stuff everywhere. Look like this cat. That's that's quite funky. I like that. Ah, that's who. Um... Gray and boys. Do you yeah. want to see a photo of him? Is, it, is there a photo? Of him? Yeah, have a look up on that that badge from uh, right above your head now. That white. Turn it round. Oh yeah. Turn it round. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the chap. I think that might be him on that poster. Yes, I reckon you're right. It does look like him. And that's, that's here. That's, here, yeah. that's yeah, actually yeah. here. Balebrook Fate. I wonder whether he passed away or, or had to be taken into hospital or something. But 2012, that's a long time. Eight years to not be here, isn't it? Yeah. And why not come and get your stuff? 
Or maybe he got some of his stuff, but... Doesn't make any sense, does it? Seems like somebody who might, might have been rushed into hospital. Wow, this is like... I like this. I like this sort of I effect. Like <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Wow. It? He's got it real nice in here. Yeah. I mean, you know, the guy's made a bit of effort to tidy up quite a sort of countryfied, I would call it, rustic countryfied place. I think he'd probably be getting ill from sitting on that settee, though. That doesn't look very healthy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I suppose nothing in here is going to have virus on it, at least we, can, we know that for certain. That's one that you must have just started working on. He's got a good taste in shirts. Look at that, it's like I a pa like Pablo Picasso. Yeah, I like that. Bloody hell. Mmm. So he's got a drawing board here. So it's like as if he really was into his art. Yeah. Is this cat? Aww. See, the thing is, when people go into hospital, like, what happens to their cats? Yeah. Got a book on Billy Piper there. So... Whoa. Might have been him when he was young. Mm, probably too old, but that looks military. It does look military, yeah. That looks military, so... Mmm. Oh, this is like his, uh, all his postcards. Postcards of places he's been. Wow. Mum and Dad, probably. Yeah. It's all from Linmouth, actually. Mmm. So we really like Linmouth. <laughs> so yeah, this is a uh, life study drawing of a naked woman. And yeah. Snaps. Yeah, they're like 1955. Might be. Might be somebody who's like who's 70 years old now. Might be him in his youth. Or him with his parents, perhaps. Well, that's a creepy one. What's that then? It's like, oh, it's like double exposed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got like two exposures on the same thing, so it looks like there's ghosts in the photo. Yeah. yeah. Double exposures. Right. Well, he's melted out his plug, so he's obviously not being safe with what he's doing. <laughs> so we might have got taken away for health and safety contraventions. Like maybe that's what it was. Like we've heard you've blown a few fuses, Mister Mister Boys. So we've come to take you away. No, no, I don't want to go. But you've, uh, you've, we've heard you've had too many fuses blown. Come with us in the back of the van. Well, this is his workshop. So he's a bit of a handyman as well. He's got some sort of like bandsaw or something there. Bandsaw or cutting equipment. Very messy though. Very, very messy. It reminds me of my Uncle Eddie actually. He had a house that was like this. It was just full of stuff. Absolutely full. Uh, up here in the ceiling, there are things that look like they're um, from a party or something. It's like a creature or some sort of wraith maybe, but made out of, made out of things. It seems like it's got two arms, if you can see them there. Two arms and maybe the head is up there. This is the body. It might, look, it might be like a mermaid or something. Let's have a look, see if we can work out what it is. I'm clambering over stuff now, which is like, it's exactly like my Uncle, Uncle Eddie's house. Well, so I wonder if we could get this door open then. You probably can if you just hold the left side of it and pull the right. It'll probably go. It's just a bit stiff. It's just a bit stiff, I think. Right, so what have we got up here then? This is a dragon, I think. Look, it's meant to be like a dragon. That's its, that's its head and its tongue. And it comes down. And there's its tail. Oh, look, it actually has a tail. Look, I, did, I missed that. It has a tail. There's the tail down there. So that's pretty mad. I suppose people would have got inside that maybe and held it up and walked it through town. So he really was somebody who used to like making stuff to go out and display and run around. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Got some sort of like dartboard or wheel of fortune type of thing. There. Yeah. Got on the floor then. 
What's it got down here? It's pretty, pretty mad. Pretty mad sort of place. Uh, what's he got down over here? I mean, look at the floor. I mean, you can't walk around. This is like discoordinated hoarder territory. He's got a uh, vice there. Try to work it out, really. Paints along the back. It's got chairs chucked up there for meetings or something. It's got his little his little single light there. Pretty mad. Pretty mad. Oh, and yeah. So we've got benches. These are park benches here and stuff. Like they're sort of like park benches and things. Walk down to a different area. We've got a welding welding kit, more cutting equipment, some sort of saw. I don't know what type of saw, but it's some sort of cutting cutting tool. And this looks like this is his, his gardening end of stuff. So you've got all the, the homemade rake by the looks of it. Is that homemade rake? It's weird. Homemade rake and what have we got? We've got a home uh, a hand operated mower and then we've got a fly mow so yeah this is definitely his um oh there's power there's power coming to the uh to the plug sockets over there did you know there's power coming to this building there is. yeah yeah i can see numbers on the uh and it's it's not it's not um it's not a key meter but the fuse box has been turned off Oh my god. It's Jacob and the uh, <laughs> yeah, Technicolor dream yeah. coat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether this place is springing into, into fire, but. Yeah. Try uh, some bits and bobs. Nothing? Really? Okay. No? Nothing? Turn it off then. Yeah, there's, there's power coming into this building. Oh, look, I don't think you should have one of those. I don't think you're allowed to have one of these because that's the master fuse which comes from the electricity board. <laughs> and like, if you've got one of these, that means you could have reconnected yourself, which is uh, 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 that's naughty. You don't really have to get your hands on those. So yeah, it's a dragon up above us. Oh wow, yeah. That thing, and look, the tail's behind us, look, it comes over. Yeah. Looks like something that would have been carried by people through a procession or some, some sort of such. Yeah. My parents used to have exactly that there. That's really? weird, yeah, they used to have one of those. And I don't think they ever used it, but it was like they used the clock. But it's it was, not that burning. Yeah. Yeah, but it's off now. Right, it's off. It might have just been if if there was a heater came on, it means that it's come on and blown a load of dust out. But yeah, it came on for a minute, so there's definitely electric coming into this building. So there's a heater in you somewhere there, that yeah, that yeah. there. So uh, I think just to be safe for the future, I'm gonna unplug these because if somebody else comes in, you're like an idiot and turns that on. You know what will be happening after that. So. It's locked. Yeah. Wow. There's all this stuff down here now. Haven't been in his room of bits and bobs, so let's go and have a look. And is, uh, is this his bedroom? Yeah. Is this where we came That's in? Where we came That's in. where we came in. Yeah, look at these shirts, man. That's like, like that. yeah. colourful. Yeah. 
Cool for I'm not sure about that one though. That's a bit that's a bit like uh, been eaten by eaten by the flies. Oh god, look at it, look, it's been eaten. All this stuff has been eaten by moths or something. What else have we got then? Let's have a quick look over here. So he's got weighing scales. What's he keep in these drawers? That's where he keeps his paper clips. And what's that? Velvet patches, velvet stick-on patches. So he's got a drawer specially, specially allocated for velvet stick-on patches. Yep. So look at that little window that goes through there, that's pretty amazing. Mm. So you like... can see what it is on the ceiling in the end room, it's actually a dragon. Yeah, so that, yeah, you can see it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Mm. Anatomy. Classic first edition. Oh, kitchen radio, PLL kitchen radio, RDS function. That's why it was stuck up on the uh, the thing. As I say, it's some sort of game here, isn't it? It's a game. Oh yeah. Oh, this is why. Oh, you know what? He was sending. He must have been sending these out because there's boxes empty, ready with these plastic things, ready to put them in. So. Yeah, there's bags of the balls. There. And there's balls. Oh yeah, there's balls. So he was making this as a game. He was making it as a game. Perhaps you have to like flick, flick somebody out of the way or something. So he invented this as a game, probably, and he was trying to sell it. He was trying to sell his own game. And look, he had a little light here, look, to play the game, so he could sort of demonstrate it to people. Maybe that was his um, so-called claim to fame. Then he invented a game. If he's selling bits of it like that. Oh, so I bet somebody in the channel knows what happened to Mr. Boys. I bet somebody knows what became of Mr. Boys. What is that? I think maybe for curtains. It looks oh, like it looks oh, tribal, it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look very tribal. Yeah, but it's got those round things in the middle. Yeah. But you can't, you couldn't pull the curtains though, yeah, like yeah. that, could you? No. You couldn't really pull them. It's no effort for that either. Right? No. Unless somebody made it. How would you get those rings on as well? Oh, yeah. Do you think those rings have actually been carved in place? I reckon so, yeah. I know some people are sneaky and there's like little joins and you can put them. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Carved in place rings. Oh my god. What a nutter. Or, you see, secretly what they do is there's a split there, split, and then they just joined on, you know? Mm, yeah. So there's all sorts of techniques woodworkers use to kind of fake yeah, things it's up. Not, it's not one piece. You can see the see through the gap there. All right. Ah. Oh, secrets. Secrets. Secret stash. Ah. Secret stash. No. no. We were right though. It wasn't. Um, yeah. Oh well. Wasn't his magic pumpy stick then? <laughs> Pictures of um, kids, Indian kids in a uh, looks like a school or something, dancing around. <sighs> so much junk. It's got like a Doctor Who box. Oh, the I heard about. I saw, did I see a photo of that? Like the TARDIS yeah. somewhere. But what's all this stuff behind you? Look, I mean, it's just like there's a gap between this room and that room. Like more, more life drawings. Unbelievable, right? So you're telling me that he's got a Doctor Who's TARDIS in you? Oh, police box. Look, and it is actually properly, properly done up with the, the words "public call box" on it, so it can be lit from behind. He's actually got a TARDIS. <laughs> so now he's not going to be the artist anymore. He's going to be the TARDIS, the TARDIS uh, house. And it's actually four parts of it, look, so there's one, two, three, four, so you can actually assemble it, assemble it outdoors, and you can have a TARDIS. So, yeah, so it's three-sided by the looks of it, it's three-sided TARDIS. Can't see the fourth side. So it must be, you put it up against a door or a wall and you make it look like yeah. it's a TARDIS, but the fourth wall 
doesn't exist. Well, you don't need it to, just if you can't see it, I suppose. But yeah. Oh, look at all the stuff he's got chucked up on the top. It's like every inch is used. Look at the stuff he's got up on the ceiling. Every inch used. Da -da 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 Probably knew where everything was as yeah. well. One of those, like his, his grove compost stuff, big fan, <laughs> garden hose. I've got to buy some of that actually pretty soon <laughs> to, to, to clean out the boat when I'm down at the beach, you know, because uh, if they've got a tap, you can clean out the boat. But, oh, look. There's tea. Cups of tea. Look, he's got different, oh, great. different types of tea. Yorkshire. But look where he keeps it. He keeps it, he keeps it in the room where you have to clamber over everything on the floor. Which is his workshop room? Look, what's all the, what? What are those up there? Those um, oh, yeah. are those those streamers? Like I, like the yellow stuff I was going to take down box. It looks like those things that you unwind, like um, oh, for for putting on parcels. I'm curious now. Do you want to just hold yeah. that set? Find out. I got my curiosity going. My curiosity. It, it does look like it. Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Okay. Right, hang on then. Or, or, what, what else would it be? No, it is. It's like streamer material. Hang on. There we go, look. And how strong is it? Very. Nice. It's exactly the same stuff as I was going to use down the box to make sure we... Because these are 500 metre rolls, look. And you can just keep walking with them. And it's really cheap. They're like two quid. So you can get, you know, a few kilometres of this stuff and you'll never get lost underground. See, there's, there's enough there for box, like 500, 1,000, 2,000, 2,500 metres, two and a half kilometres. That'll see you back home, I'm sure. Wow. Thank you. Whoa, let's have a look at, uh, look, he's got his, um, all his screwdrivers are all stuck in a screwdriver block. Wow. So there is some method to the madness. It's not like all mad. I think that's some sort of band saw, but I think the band has probably been taken out for the moment. Um, it's got gas, got gas in the thing. I wonder if that also works. No, no gas in it. Well, let's have a look at what he's got up here then. Oops. Look, he's got pipes, plumbing pipes, plumbing pipes. He's got um, bits of wood, bags. This is his bags. Whoa. What else? Big old drum cable drum. An old typewriter. Whoa, look at all these little little plastic things. Cork? And corks. Cork. Yeah. And look at that's it, plastic things. So that's these are the plastic things. These might be plastic corks actually. I think they are. Yeah. I think they're rubberized plastic corks. They are, they're like slightly rubber. So enough corks to last you a lifetime. <laughs> you like buying things in bulk, look. I mean That's a way to do it. Huh? Yeah, look, he's He's got 100 watt light bulbs, you can't even get those anymore, they're like gold dust. I think David Icke said he bought like thousands of light bulbs oh, just yeah, when they were yeah, going to yeah, become banned. That, yeah. <laughs> David, I'll sell you some light bulbs, mate, <laughs> yeah? Oh yeah, blankets. oh yeah, blankets. He's got blankets and cushions and stuff like that, blanket drawer. Yeah, there's not much in there though. No, no that's a roll up. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this above us. Like, I mean, something moved. Then it's like he's made himself a he's made himself a uh, cardboard yeah. light thing. It's literally like a cardboard lamp. Yeah, it's like a big lamp. Oh, that you know what that is, isn't it? Think about it. Think about it. Stand back and look again. I don't he's going to work. So it's the roof of the. It's the roof of the. It was me thinking it was a light. I was thinking it was a light. It's not, it's the roof of the TARDIS, look. Yeah. <laughs> Made with cardboard. Oh yeah, he's you know, he's a crafty bloke, isn't he? Yeah. Crafty bloke. But see, with all this sort of stuff, it's like, where do you keep it? Unless you live in a big place like this where you can just hang it on the ceiling. You know, not easy to do, is it? But I do think he made his own game. I bet you, if he was making and selling those, there'll be an instruction manual somewhere, so we'll have had a load of those printed as well. So we keep our eyes open for instruction manuals printed. It's likely to be in this area, I reckon. 
So what do you reckon then? Have we, have we explored this better than anyone else has explored it so far? Because we're deciphering the mystery of who Mr. Boys was. Look, this is a, off a hooker, a pipe. Smoke, is that? No, it's not. It's off, um, no, it's not. It's off, uh, re, you know, marching band oh, thing. Yeah. yeah, marching yeah. band. I thought that was a smoking end. It's not, it's just. So here's all the balls. Look, he's got loads of these reds and yellows. And here's the boxes, and here's the actual plastic things that you could put in the boxes, you know? So those would go in the boxes. So, where would the instruction manuals be then, if there were such a thing? Hmm, I wonder if he managed to sell many of them, if any. Lotto game, what's this then? Lotto game. Oh, hang on. Lotto game. It's just cards. It's like, hmm. Shells. Sounds like a car out there. Shells from the beach. Mm, a nice colour. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello, hello. The bipolar bipolar disorder survival guide. What you and your family should know. So maybe he was suffering from a mel men mental ill. Ill, Ill, Ill. You know. There's some letters inside the bedroom that say something about. Mm. I think he's kept all his Guinness bottles. Yeah. Perhaps that's why he lived like he did, you know, because he's artistically inclined, you know, and maybe sensitive. Mm. Sensitive sort of chappy. Bristol Brewery. Hmm. But I wonder why he was given this um, this badge then. Maybe you've got to have this. Oh, it says Street Trader. Street trader, so he might have been selling big issues or he might have been selling the things. Hang on, hello, you're missing. Look, a big box of printing. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I got it. Nice. Hey. Jostle. 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 It says, um, the rules. Let me turn the iris down so we focus. All shots count, uh, frame lost if any rule broken, and one ball forfeited. One only one ball per turn to be knocked into play. Any more for any reason from either side, frame lost. Using finger or thumb, players may flick, jab, poke or spin the ball into play, but not may not pick it up or drop it or throw it. OK. Um, balls may be moved into any position on the baseline for any shot. Let me see if I can focus this a bit better. All right, OK. So I should I should, hang on, I'll tell you what I'm going to stop recording a second I'm going to turn on the focus mode so it'll tell me whether I'm in focus because <laughs> I can't work it out hang on back in business right so balls to settle before subsequent shot or before claim is made if a line of each colour is completed both players score if two lines of same colour are completed but two balls are claimed when no ball is left on the baseline, that player chooses one from the already played and replays it from any position. Knocking a ball out of the frame loses the frame. Off the table loses the game. So you can't be too severe. No win to be claimed from any foul shot. And it says, jostle. More to the square foot. All right, okay, now what does it say? Um, oh, and here we go. This is, the, this is the magic bit that I was hoping we would see. So it says... It says down here, a Tin Church Childline production available from the Tin Church Project, Bailbrook 7AL, telephone 01225 So we had a telephone here. So there you go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hopefully. So that was his game. That was his game. That's what he invented. Pretty cool, yeah. So one of those will be included in each one of these games. So, there we are. Oh, what's this? This is a fan, isn't it? Oh, shit, sorry. So you go. Yeah. Uh, do you do it now, it's like... Yeah, whatever. So it's like, mm-hmm. Me is I am me's if you please. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Whoa, that's like um, he's created a three D object mm -hmm. out of paper. Is that paper? Is it? I think it's paper. Yeah. He's made that out of paper. Wow. It's like um, 
I can't remember what it is. Rubik's Cube, but more. It's geodesic, I think they call them, isn't it? Or. Yeah. yeah. Look, see, Jess is busy doing her thing. <laughs> Quietly getting on with it. It's a lot of things to take out in here. Have a look at her and Sam and Jess's um, Instagram page because you'll see just how good a photographer she is. Look, flea detector and killer. Hmm. He's got a trade card here, look, for HSS trade card. Hire yeah, service group. He used to make postcards as well. I've just found a no whole way. box of it. Used to make postcards? No way. No way. Look at his piano, I wonder if he played. Some of them do. Wow. Yeah, Graham boys, yeah. Yeah, he like, likes his cats, look. He loves his cats. I wonder if we can get these focused in for a closer look. Here's Mrs. Mr. Boyes' artwork. What happened to Mr. Boyes? That was, that was made in 92, that was. So he might have had a gallery at some point, or he used to sell them into shops or things. Look at that. That's really good. Church cats. And it's mm. based, on, based on where he lives. I wonder how he managed to get to live here, then. Crazy place to live. And and the power is still left on, which is like crazy. So I'm. I think. Uh, yeah, it's a bit. That's a card for the local the council. council. Council tax payment card. Oh my god. Council tax haven't been paid here for in a while. Hmm. <laughs> Feather dusters. It definitely haven't been used in here for a while. You know, like ro roller stuff, like for rolling rolling print and things like that. He's got loads of rollers. This is his roller. Roller stash. So he keeps all his rollers. Crazy, crazy. Oh, no Look at that. He's got, he's got coals there. Yeah, skeeter beater. He's got coals? Yeah, coals just for burning incense and stuff like that. Oh, right, okay. Glasses. Oh, my God. That's cool, aren't they? I wonder if they're his, or maybe they belong to somebody new. Go on, get them on. You know you want to. I get them on. Oh, Graham, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere, mate. Where have you been, Graham? I've been in the back room. <laughs> Making postcards. Oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So, wow, well, there we go. And what has he got in the way of weird books over there? Oriental Medieval. Hmm. Tim Church on Points West. Look at that Hoover he's got. I know. That yeah. round thing, it's like a UFO. That's actually a Hoover. Can you believe that? Autumn's Five. Wow, that's a bit mental. It's proper mental. Oh, what were they then? There's lots of little um, things again. Yeah, I think it's the, yeah, it's the trays. Oh, it's the again. plastic trays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you'd have them made up then, because you'd have to make, if you're going to make plastic stuff like that, they have to make you up um, a die. So then you have to put that in the injector and it sort of vacuums, vacuums the plastic. So I mean, right. it's quite expensive to make up a die, so that's not cheap. The printing in the boxes would have been cheap, but the, the die to make the plastic thing, to make that, that bit here, yeah. wouldn't be. But it's funny though, isn't it? He's, he's actually made a whole table dedicated to it with its own light. Yeah. You know, so probably anybody who came was um, uh, literally forced into playing it, whether <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> whether they liked it or not. Yeah. They were going to play this game. Um, no, I didn't mean that. Of course, they probably enjoyed every moment of it. But here's the balls, look. Yeah. The stacks and stacks down there as well. Oh yeah. It's got boxes of balls. Oh yeah. Bags and bags. Yeah. Bags and bags and bags. 
I tell you what, you want to put a, put a couple of thousand of these beneath the window? And somebody, <laughs> somebody comes in and they just go, ah, arse over tit. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a cartoon. Like, yeah. <laughs> God, I've just noted, every time you look, there's something somewhere else. Look at these now. Look at these little, uh, these little sort of cherubs, you know? Angel cherubs. You know, he li liked hanging things up and decorating. It's like every inch, every inch of this place. It's got something in it. But he definitely needed to throw a bit out, I think, and tidy up. It's just uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. I wonder what he's got stored up there then. Look how high that goes up. Look how high. And they've got the original church window there in the background. Look how high it goes. So, whoa. Really like his cats though. There's a couple of motorcycle helmets down here as well. There's one. And there's another. Wonder if these are proper fully padded motorcycle helmets. There's a little bit, not much. I don't think that would definitely wouldn't pass the uh, safety checks these days. That one would. That one looks more acceptable, but uh, yeah. He's got another another motorcycle helmet up here. And there's a few hats. So, yeah, we'll have to see whether we can find out more about Mr. Boys. I bet you if he's a guy who likes building things and making art, there's going to be some newspaper things featuring him. Oh, look, when it was actually... Um, oh, yeah, wow. Before it was all like Mankville. Yeah, that's what it used to look like. That's what it used to look like. Sorry, I uh... combat the growing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and up here as well. Look, I mean, you just this just keeps on going. So he's actually he's he's made this into a smaller. Look, see, this is a smaller room system he's oh, built up. Yeah. So to keep the warmth in, because it was probably really bad for warmth, he's built this little slope to. And then everything's inside there. But here is the original roof of the church, which is how it would have been when it was, you know, it's got beams and everything. So let's see if we can find a way to kind of look up there. I'm going to get on that probably. And it's probably not going to be safe, but to do it. So let's see if we can get up here and have a look. Whoa! He's, you can see the chimney for his uh, for his uh, thingy bob. But oh boy! Does it go up? Yeah, look at that. You can walk on the roof up here, and he's got loads of stuff up here. He's got absolutely loads of stuff, and he's put lagging, look, heat lagging on the roof. So obviously all this was an attempt to build a little space that was capable of holding in the heat. So, yeah, he's built this inside the church, because look, that's the actual roof. And, he, and there's stuff stored up here as well. But he's built a little house within a church. So, yeah. So the whole thing would have gone right the way up and it would have had this original, original, uh, what do you call it now? Sermon thingy. Where they give the uh, sermons. But yeah. That's some money in that. What? Hang on, that's uh, oh Cruzeros. Cruzeros. Hmm, burnt through. Mm -hmm. Brazil. Central do de Brazil. Central do Brazil. What the hell is this? Is he fucking adamant or something? <laughs> that is weird. That is very strange. I think you could be exploring in here for weeks and still not find everything that's tucked away. Oh, he's got loads of stuff back there as well, hasn't he? Yeah. This is all a fake roof inside here. See all this roof that you're, we walked through just now, all that is all built just to keep the warmth, warmth in. 
Amazing, isn't it? And he's built it like a V shape. So he's come down there and back up there. So he's put a V shape in, in here. It's a pretty, uh, pretty wacky sort of thing, really. Pretty wacky. I mean, it might be safe enough to stand on some of these because they're dry, you know, if you're walking across here. But, I mean, he probably would have put planks down or something to walk across, I imagine. But, hmm. Oh, he's even got he's even got references to other games that are similar to his game. Look, in in ball games. Look, whoa! So he's got references to other types of ball games. Razor bite. I wonder if these are things he was trying to develop. Look, you know, with different balls. Razor bite. Now that looks to me like a soft. That's a soft, spongy surface, like a rubber mm -hmm. surface. Mm -hmm. So when you flick things in, they could spin around, but it's like a gravity effect. They'll spin back to the centre. So I wonder if that was... Um, wow, this looks like information we need on his stuff. Look, ticktactic.com. So he's been to game conventions, basically, and exhibited or met people. But that's a... That's a mould for the different game. That's a mould for a different type of game. So, I think there's something rude going to come up under, in a minute underneath here. But there's a different Tic Tactic, that's a different game. Right, but look, somebody's got a bit of a naughty card. It says, pull, pull me big boy. Pull me big boy. So, hang on, what am I supposed to do? Pull, pull you. It looks like it's got something there, like you're meant to spin something. Yeah, there's, there's meant to be something that has been damaged, but if you pulled it, I think something would, like the dress would come up or something. I think something would have popped out. I wonder if I can find it. Hang on. There's like some mystery behind this. No, maybe not. But who's it from? Who's it from? Who's this read card for? Happy birthday, Graham. Loads of people. Thanks for your big heart and your big shoulders. Lots of love to you always. Happy birthday, Graham, from Jess. Yeah. Happy birthday, so Samba Sulis. Samba Sulis. So he had friends out there who used to used to send him birthday cards. So he wasn't like completely on his own then. Oh, farting. A guffer's guide. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Yeah, so he might have had a bit of a sense of humour as well then. But yeah, so what can you say with a place like this? Apart from bloody bonkers. Bloody bonkers. But if it was tidied up a bit, I think it could be quite nice. Yeah, be but, pretty nice, huh? But, yeah, definitely uh, somewhere the spiders would like to get into, as is evidenced by uh, all that stuff up there. As you can see, spider webs. All the way up there. So, uh, hmm. Wow. There's a ladder up to the top, but... Yeah. Where's that? Oh, to the top, yeah. yeah. It's lo it's loose, it's it is loose, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine anyone would really go up there. No, it's just for show, show, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. Do you know that big door that we nearly came in through? I think it would open, actually, would open. if you if you pushed one side and pulled the other. Yeah. I think it's just swollen up a bit. That window is just... That cork, cork thing. Oh, that's the bedroom, and that's the bathroom again. Yes. On that note, let's give this a push, and I'm going to get out, so I'll turn off for a minute. Start filming and get Sam and Jess coming out here for a bit of fun. You coming out? Oh, it's heavy, that. Bloody heavy. Sorry, I just... Put one again. <laughs> Jess coming. I don't think she's coming yet. I think she's getting there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. So there we are, folks. Um, I'm going to turn this off now. I don't really need it. But yeah, it's an interesting building and uh, goes on a little bit round the corner, but I don't think there's much more to see. So, but uh, yeah, quite nice. So, on that note, I think we'll probably end it here and we'll do a little bit of drone flying. What? So, apparently, someone's banging on the door. Really? Guy, we were just trying to work out, because we do exploring, and we are just trying to work out who would have been the person who was living there. We worked him out as Graham Boys. Yeah. 
we can work out what happened to him. Uh, Did he die? No, no, he's still around. Oh, he's still about? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't think he'll, he'll be the... We just filmed a bloke then and uh, he came up and said, oh no, the bloke is still owned. And uh, yeah, he said that um, the guy who lived there, Mr. Boys, he does come back there, so it is a lived-in property. So um, don't be tempted to go back then, folks. That's all we can say if you do go in there. Um, he is looking after his property for him, so don't be... Uh, don't be doing it, because it is.